Growing up, we all loved to play with play sets. They were a lot of fun. Today, I'm going to tell you about the 10 play sets I love the best to play with my action figures. Well, let's take a look. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. We were recording this live. I got people right here in the chat, like Three Storm, Andrew, Scott, Rick, Kevin, oh, Opus Crumpets, or whatever his name is. I can't read. Harry, there's a lot of people in here. Sorry if I missed you. We're recording this in front of a live studio audience. Huh. Feels like I ought to be on an episode of Sanford and Son. I had a hard time getting that S out, didn't I? Anyway, today we're going to look at the top 10 playsets that I played with as a kid. I didn't, may not have had all these, but I did at least play with them, and I did love them. Some of them I did have. And I'm not going to waste any more of your time because I've wasted a lot of time already. It's like the second time. I already started this video. I had to start over one time. So let's get at number 10. Marvel World. This was a cardboard playset. It was a lot of fun unless you play with it in the tub. Whew. rub a dub -a, play with your tub. No, you don't. You put your rubber ducky in the tub. You can put your Gilligan's Island little playset in there, but you can't put this in there. But it was a lot of fun. I don't know how fun it'd be after a month or two because it was cardboard. But I had a friend named Jimmy had this, and it, was, it just looked so awesome. It was, we had so much fun with it. Had to use your imagination a lot, but hey, that makes toys fun, right? And if you're a toy collector, this will look great in a toy room, wouldn't it? Look really, even has the Daily Bugle on it. The Daily Bugle. Get your news daily. Let's look at number nine. Uh, the Navaron, the Navarro Mountain. Now, I've seen this thing listed as three or four different names. Sometimes a little different color. My brother had this. It had on the back some levels and all this. I would look like a mountain. This kid in the picture is playing with Army Man with it. But to us, it was Darth Vader's Mountain. Don't that sound cool? Darth Vader's Mountain. I love that. And he would put Darth Vader on the top row and on the bottom, you know, at the top he would put Darth Vader level and then he would do his like Stormtrooper level and I would have to try to get up there and get Darth Vader. It was a lot of fun. We used to play Star Wars together. It was awesome. This thing was awesome. It was a, one of the best playsets for Star Wars that wasn't even a Star Wars playset. It was bad, as the kids say today. Let's look. I think we're at number eight right here. Kung Fu. Big Jim's Kung Fu Studio. Yeah, even Big Jim's got to have a place to work out, and he could. With Mattel's Kung Fu Studio, this was a vinyl box. You open it up, and it's got three different rooms in it. It had the speed bag, and I know that's what it's called, because somebody told me in the chat when I recorded the first video, and I didn't hit record. It was just on a little wire, a little flimsy, shaky little wire, and you could thump it, and it boom, boom, bounced back. It was a lot of fun. Had a, I mean, a wall you could kick out like you broke down a fake breakaway wall. Probably had some more stuff, but that's what I remember. I remember we had a figure that had a gold hand, and it was bald-headed, and had an eagle on his chest. And I can't think of his name. Maybe it's Mr. Steel, but I know I made a shirt with an eagle on it. You can get that at JunkmanMerch.com. You can get a lot of stuff over at JunkmanMerch.com. Check it out. And you have a shirt I have over there? You can get it on a mug also. You can even get some wall art. Phone cases. Phone cases. <sighs> you can get a phone case that says Kenner. That's awesome. You can tell the ladies you work for Kenner. You know, get you a little bit. But anyway... Uh, this was it. Big Jim. Oh, darn it. Big Jim's Kung Fu Studio. Let's move on here. I don't know what number we're on, so let's just go right here. Kenner's Death Star. Jumpman, why ain't this number one? Jumpman, why don't you have this at number one? You had this, you play with it, you talk about how much you love it all the time. Well, I knew y'all knew it was going to be on the list, so I almost didn't even put it on the list because I knew it was going to be on the list, but I figured I had to put it on here. So there it is. I think we're at number seven. I just had to put it somewhere, and that's where I put it. Uh... You understand what I'm saying? See, I can't just have this on that number one on every playset list I do. So here we go. Let's start another one that's sold at Sears and some other places, I'm sure. Crossbows and catapults. Now you're saying, I can see it right now in the chat. I'm not even looking at the I can see it's, it's going up real fast. Brr, brr. Junk man, that's a board game or some kind of game. That's not a playset for your action figurines. You're right about that. But to me and to my best friend Boyd, we turned it into a where we played action figures. I can remember playing it with a suit. He has superpowers. I only had a few superpowers, like two. He has some. We played with it there. He's had like these army men we used to play. I used to probably, I'm sure I played Star Wars with it. You build a wall in front of your castle and you had little crossbow things you could shoot and try to knock it down. So we played with it. We never played by the rules. We never played the game like you're supposed to play it. I can remember we only played it under his cardboard. I don't know why. He had a carport. I remember playing it there. I remember getting it for Christmas, playing it there. But I don't know where we played it anywhere else. So weird we played it over there. But hey, 
Maybe the maybe it was one of those days when mom wanted us out of the house. Like, don't you come in here? Don't you bring that catapult scheme in here? So we played it in the carport. Probably with a probably sat on some oil some oil that leaked out of the car. Hmm. He had a Volkswagen where you could see the ground. In the back there was a hole where you could see the road. Craziest thing. Crazy. Uh, but here it is. Crossbows and catapults. Let's move on right here. Mego. My brother had this one. I played with it. I love the Star Trek USS Enterprise playset. This was so awesome. Because it had the transporter. I'm not going to lie to you. I like the transporter. You put the figure in there, spin it around, hit blue, and he disappeared. You're like, what the hell happened to him? It looked so awesome. Um, I mean, he didn't have a bunch, a lot of gadgets and stuff that did anything. But still, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then, in true junk kid faction. It became a Star Wars shit when my brother stopped playing, playing with it, you know. By 1980, he wasn't really playing anyone. He's probably out playing with toys. Well, I took it, and I put Star Wars figures in the transporters. And it was a lot smaller, so when you spin them around, they went flying out usually. But it was a lot of fun. Let's look at another playset. And this one, I tried to keep all the playsets to one group. And, you know, I didn't want to do like 10 different Star Wars playsets. But this one is Star Trek, but it's the 90s. Star Trek Playmates. That's right, a Playmates playset. The bridge also. This one's awesome. This, if you don't have this, if you're a Star Trek fan, you'll have this one. It is, oh, it's all, it makes a lot of sounds. Uh, it, it's, the only thing is, as a kid, I think it's really hard to play with because you got to put these walls around it to make it a circle. And it's hard to get in there and really play with it. You can take the walls off and then play with it, but then you don't have the walls on it. Uh, you can take one panel off and maybe get to it. It has a little spring gushing door you can put your finger in. Boop, boop, you can put other things in there, but you can put your then. It was a lot of fun. It was a, The viewer screen lit up and everything. It made sound. It was, it's awesome. Trust me. If you're a Star Trek fan, it's awesome. Uh, let's go. I think we're at four. I'm not really sure. Now, this isn't an action figure playset, but I count as a playset. I think any kid in the 70s had this. The Fisher-Price Garage. This thing was awesome. This thing was awesome. Look at the chat, right? The chat is blowing up. How Kevin. Kevin says, I love this thing as a kid. Devin said, I played with this thing 10 times a day. Three storms. He said he played with it so much, his mom threw it away. Look at this. Dark Star 2007. Oh, 2077, he said he still plays with it today. We've got Harry says he played with it so much, his sister thought he was... I, I can't say that. I can't say that. I'll get demonetized. Whoa, man, everybody played. Even Captain Laser said he played with this so much, he had to change the batteries. I, don't even, I didn't even think it had batteries. I don't think it did. I don't think it did, Captain Laser. But everyone played with this thing. He, it's awesome. It was awesome. You put your little car, little elevator on it. I love that thing with an elevator on it. Ramps. Oh, this thing was awesome. Uh, I think we're at number two now. Number two. Let me cut this off. Number two playset. Check this out. Snake Map. Don't say it. Don't. Say, I see it right now. Weird. F fantastic Adventures. Weird. Weird. Fantastic Toy Adventures. I see him right here in the chat. I see him right in the chat. Castle Grayskull was better. Castle, Castle Grayskull was better. No. No. This was awesome. Had a little thing. Talking to it. It changes your voice. Welcome to Snake Mountain. It was all. Had a bridge that you could have them walk across. Had a little hole they could go in. Uh, had a trap door. Trap door. Had a gate that swung open. This thing was awesome. God, I played with this thing for hours. And yes, Castle Grayskull is fun. But wasn't as fun as Snake Mountain. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, and y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the number one playset that I played with as a kid? Here it goes. The A-Team Command Center. Mmm, talk about awesome. Talk about awesome. And I had a friend. Well, I didn't have a friend. Boyd had a friend. I talked about him in a recent video named Jeb. He put up all his toys so he could go play Little League or something. But anyway, he had this toy. I wasn't a big fan of Jeff. I didn't like hanging out with Jeff. He looked like a bird. He, well, he looked kind of like the little kid on Who's the Boss. And no, I'm not talking about Alyssa Milano. If he looked like a Alyssa Milano, I would have been at his house every day. But he looked like that little Jonathan kid. And something about him just... He wasn't like... You know, I had one kid like Ricky Schroeder, and that bothered me, but this was a different level. He had this thing. I was so jealous of it. I only got to play with this thing twice. One time, 
I got to, I had to share a plane with Boyd and Jeff. And one time, it was some kind of ball game or something, and I was at the house. They were watching ball game or talking ball, something with the ball game. They was playing with balls. That's all I know. These guys love playing with balls. And I got to play with the 18 Command Center all by myself, and it was, oh, it was so awesome. I wish I could have took it home and played with it with my Star Wars figures, but no, no. And I remember he only had B A. He had two BAs, two Mr. T's. He had two Mr. T's, and he had Hannibal. That's all he had. Now, why, how, why did he have two Mr. T's? I don't know. It makes no sense at all. I can understand he had them all, but I guess to him, Mr. T was the stormtrooper of this line. But it was awesome. I had I, every. I would. I love it when our plan comes together. It was. Uh, it was awesome, guys. But that's. Whew, I want to thank the chat for hanging out. That was a lot of fun. Tell me about some place that you had as a kid that you loved, that you loved. Or maybe tell me about the place that you hate. Might be fun to look at places that we hated. But that's it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>